how do you handle conflict on the job? One more thing, Kay. You have an issue with somebody, a coworker, because these are real world questions. You have an issue with a coworker on the job. You know they don't like you, and you feel like they're trying to sabotage you. So how do you handle that? Well, um, even if they are trying to handle uh, uh, sabotage me, I can care less because it all it all boils down to the facts. So. As long as I'm standing in my lane and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, they don't they don't uh, phase me. Now, if it's you know physical conflict or if it's uh, degrading conflict, meaning they talking down upon me um, to my face or whatever, because I, I don't entertain the um, the gossip. I definitely don't entertain it. You know, I, I I do like to go to the source and I I will be direct and I will come up to you and I will say. Uh, uh, this, that, and the third, or whatever. And I, I will ask those questions, and you can say whatever you know. You know, I never. Okay, well, let's just leave it at that, and just be professional at all times. That's how I would do it. But I don't. I don't deal with the conflict. I don't run from it. I will take it on, and if it's something that gets out of hand, that that um, that I think that it may escalate, then I'll make sure, and everybody else should know this. That you take it up to the higher level. Now, some people can't. Uh, they don't trust their higher level. That okay. next level, that's that good. First, that's good. That, that first supervisor or whatever, right? So, I mean, but you, they do um, have that courtesy of you telling them what's going on, even though you may think that they are incompetent in handling the situation. But you still got to let them know. But then we move on to the next. Somebody's going to help in that 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 battle rhythm. Somebody is going to actually be able to do that. But it takes some time and you have to be focused to actually push the issue. A lot of people just bow down. They be like, you know what? Forget it. I'll just go get another job. Oh, and then that, for real? To yeah. Leave, some, just leave? Some people will. They be like, I just can't take it. It's just toxic. Mm. It's just This is a toxic environment. This particular person, they never do anything mm. to them. That's what they say. They never do anything to him or her. And they are toxic. And I just can't stay in this. I can't stay in this environment, so I'll find another position somewhere else where I don't have to deal with that person. So they don't put push the issue of how to deal with them. You know, uh, uh, get them in trouble, write a letter, a statement of what actually happened and things of that nature. They'll just say, man, I'm, I just don't do all of that. But that's what it takes to, to get people uh, taken out of that position. You have to push for issues that you believe in, that you know that's happening. But you said you stated, and I uh, appreciate that. You mm -hmm. you stated that uh, you would address directly the problem, but if yeah. your problems with me, and you know that individual may be on hands. Man, would you come to me? You go to that individual. It might be, let's say, y'all have a a lunch room area where people eat and all that. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, I just want to talk to you. If I, you know, you know who I am, and mm -hmm. however mm -hmm. you approach it with. Yeah with uh kindness and just be but being direct man don't come over here with me with that bull with that bs and they still right. getting loud do, but do they you ain't touch you next. i mean and then you, you the next. that's you embarrassing move. are yeah. you gonna react no to no. that no because, but because I'm, I'm gonna tell you why i won't react because you thinking people really react because of pride thank you they don't they don't want to look thank bad you. in front of others right but right. if you really look at the situation, everybody knows that this person is toxic and they acting out as they usually do. Mm. So yeah. why would you even entertain that person's foolishness? So go on to the uh, first line, go to your supervisor and talk to them and tell them a, a situation, even though you may not trust them, or if you do trust them and then you know that they are uh, dig into the situation, then they will. But it has to be, and you're not a snitch. If somebody's toxic, they toxic. Thank you. You got to be honest with the situation because if you don't, then that's why things you have a, a, a toxic culture. And that's why it's such a high rotation in that particular field or that department or whatever. Right. 
it's it's a hard. You be like, man, we always hire new people. We always people always quitting, and certain particular individuals got to do all the shifts. They got to mm-hmm. fill in here. They got to do all. It's it may be a toxic environment. And Kane, and I done seen this right here. That's why I'm throwing it at it because we, this is a good conversation, but Go a little teaching in this too, also. Yeah. But uh, I've seen it where okay, we know we have that toxic in, individual, but yeah. that toxic individual. And then that immediate supervisor, people already talk amongst them. They 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 friends. They mm-hmm. real cool. Mm-hmm. He know that individual is doing whatever they're doing, but you know they cover for each other. So mm-hmm. I ain't. I'm not even gonna say anything to the supervisor. What? How do you handle that one right there? Well, you can say you can say it to the supervisor. Like I said, you do know, the steps. Don't st- don't skip steps. Chain just of command. Because you yes. think, yeah. Just because you think that they may be cool, they hang out or whatever, you can go to them and you see nothing being done. You go to the next person, yeah. you know, whoever HR says is your next step or whatever, that you can place a, um, a a complaint about this person. Right. One for that ad- actual individual that's uh, causing the conflict and then your supervisor for favoritism and showing, <laughs> you know, showing favoritism to this person and not acting on that particular um uh situation congregation congregation right, we gotta we gotta get them in here so yeah. congregation how do y'all feel about that i hope we got some hr specialists that can kind of chime in <laughs> or whatever and just let us know how y'all feel about that if you, if they do have conflict what what have you seen in the past and what are those um things that uh the individual can do to circumvent that situation go ahead and and kane i, I will say this right here the beauty about all of this right now in this day and time when you you identify the problem. You go to the supervisor, and even if you don't trust them, you might not have confidence in them. You still go to them, okay. Mm-hmm. And then a lot of time, okay, to see what they do. Hey, you know what's the situation on that? Okay, they didn't do anything. Okay, you just go to the next level. And right now, nobody wants to be the one holding information. OK, because now it's always a, a paper trail. And that's the beauty about it, because even if that person's real friendly with that individual, they may have a conflict on either they're going to get it resolved or they're going to have to push it up because they don't want to be the one holding that information. And their their job or career could be on the line because they're trying to cover. So it, it, it may take a. Uh, a little while, but nobody wants to be the one holding that information. No, you got to push it up until I got, I got, I got a question for you then. Okay, go. All right. Are you, if you're putting in a complaint about a person, are you owed um, explanation on the uh, outcome of that situation? Well, does the supervisor need to tell you what need, what happened to that individual that caused the conflict? Oh, in a, in a timely uh, manner, uh, if the in if the situation if they say okay, hey, Mitch, I got your complaint. Okay, we're gonna make sure this gets resolved. Okay, you don't have to worry about anything else. All right, okay. I'm gonna go about my work and everything. And a week goes by, two weeks go by. If it seems like that that situation has changed, I don't have a conflict anymore. Mm-hmm. I need not have to say anything to there the you supervisor. Go. I need there not have go. to say anything. But there you go. Kane, if the situation still persists, yes, then I'm going to that supervisor. Hey, it's, it's what what's going on? Then I can ask what's going on. What what happened? Because I came to you and the situation is still going on. It mm-hmm. seems like it's getting well, I'm, worse. I'm, so now, now you're going to have to tell me of- something. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what a lot of people expect. They expect to know what the outcome was. What was the punishment? What was no, that's not that's none of your concern on what happened. Even if they got talked to, even if they got a letter of reprimand, even if they got a little suspension, even if whatever. That's none of your concern over what the outcome of it. You just need to know that it's not happening again. Yes. And you need to pay attention. So if if it's still happening. That's the only thing that I would, if you came to me and I'm your supervisor and you tell me that, hey, it's still happening with that particular individual, uh, that conflict is still happening. 
or whatever, then I know that I need to double down on what I just did. You know, what I did previously didn't work. So yeah. now I need to double down and now we're going to escalate it a little bit. But you do not need to know if he got talked to, if they were suspended, or uh, a doctor, some pay. You don't need to know none of that because that's none of your concern. Right. Right. And then some people want to know all the details. Yes, they do. Did, did, did he get written up? Did he get... That ain't none of your concern. That ain't, that ain't none of your... Because then you want to compare who gets written up and who doesn't. No. We deal with each case individually. And we decide on the uh, course of action. That's how it is. So you can't be like, well, such and such got rolled up and I did. What? What? But but some people want to, want to hear that. And I'm not I'm not going to give you that information because you, right. you definitely don't need it. Because that's their business. It. You don't that's need their it. business. That's none of your business on what type of punishment or uh, outcome that came. You should know that he or she is not, you know, disrespecting yes. you anymore. Yes, yes, yes. That's the that's the ultimate thing right there for whatever action to be corrected and stop. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we can go about working. You know, I yep. always say the, it's a worked family. You know, some mm -hmm. people might not like that. Maybe it's the the South in me and all of that. It's a work family, you know. Mm -hmm. We try to get together to for the common goal or whatever we have to do, okay, yeah. as an organization. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but and sometimes, you know, like family, we don't get along and yeah. things. And hopefully we can, yeah. you know, streamline some things and and talk about it. And then mm -hmm. not have to push any paperwork or anything. But uh, sometimes, you know, people will show you who they are. Whether they're stressed or anything like that. Hey, if we know this person is, Kate and I worked together for years. And then he just came and started popping off at me, at other people. Hey, I pull it to the side. Hey, hey. Let's talk about what's, what's going on with you, because this is out of your characteristics, out of your behavior. Anything you're going through. Or do you need to talk to somebody about something? Because it's not like you. I mean, yeah. And some people might think that might be getting a little personal. That's just, you know, we've both been in the military, so we know it could be different avenues, you know, um, different stressors or whatever and we hey, you, you talk to your people you want to try to get to know them not jump into their personal life and things of that nature we don't want to ever do that but i noticed this about you would you like to share about what's going on because it's just out of your behavior i don't right. see anything wrong with that i don't know how you feel I about mean, that some, kind. some people may some people may feel the need and some people like to be in their own little bubble or whatever right 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 right, right. only deal with you on a professional level right right so so if it's stemming from that hey hey look i see you you know yeah you're not producing like you used to produce or whatever and they may open up they may not open up you know that's on them but at least you let them know and you handle it at the lowest level some yes people, and that's where you want to handle it, you know. At you ain't gotta to go to their supervisor and tell them that they're not performing. Just say, "Hey, man, I see you a little. You're not producing like you usually do, you know. Uh, this week, man, it's kind of been out of it, man. Anything going on or whatever, or whatever, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's cool. No, that's no, cool. No, that's just helping out your fellow coworker, you know. Yes, I mean? yes. Yeah, just yes, let them yes. know that you see. So that means if you see, then other people may see. So just give them a little heads up. Now, you know? That's the truth. That is the truth. Right yeah, there. you have to. Congregation, what y'all think? What y'all mm -hmm. think about this? How do y'all uh, uh, deal with conflict on the job? Because we have it all the time. Yes. And, and I, even uh, we're, we've been talking about conflict with coworkers, but what about conflict with um, whoever the uh, patron that's coming to that You know what I mean? Like it, yes. it can be, you, you can work in a restaurant and then you got unruly uh, guests. You got uh, customers that you need to fulfill orders and they talking to you crazy online or crazy over the phone. That happens. How do you deal with it? Somebody's cursing you out on the phone because they mad that they, they uh, bill is too high. What, what do you do? Yeah. What do you, <laughs> what do, you do? You, do you uh, match their energy? Uh-oh. <laughs> We don't want to do that. We don't want to no. go against policy and procedures, no. okay? Negative. This call is recorded for quality assurance. Oh, okay. 
I'm yeah. just saying, that's what it is. So, no, you don't need to match their energy. And it takes two to argue. Yeah. It takes two. Or they'll sound like a fool just yelling at themselves. You know? Oh, yeah. They're like, man, they, I'm not even, I can't even create an argument with this person because they're calm. They're calm the whole time. Would you you say you would like to speak to a supervisor? Okay. I'll place you on uh, hold and here comes my supervisor. Whatever, right? Because some people feel like they that the supervisor is gonna get the right answer and they still probably be mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I mean, it's all good. People complain because they don't get their way or it doesn't go the way that they want it to go or whatever. But I mean, but yeah. that that is an issue. So how for one congregation, how do y'all deal with Conflict, you know, with coworkers and conflict with customers. Yeah, you know, patients, customers, whatever, right? And you know, is it is it still a slogan, Kane? Good point. Is it still a slogan? The customer is always right. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, that used to be a the, the, the slogan. Yeah. You know, yeah. And a lot of times they are not right, but they just need to be guided in the right direction. So, how about you give them the right direction, and then they'll become right. You know what I mean, and and this a lot of times it's communication and explaining what what they the uh, missing piece of the puzzle that they you know were missing. That's why they had that thought pattern. Yeah. And then you know, but just like we was talking earlier, you know, you can't fix everybody' issue, but you can just give them the tools. Okay, <laughs> got them. That's it. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Uh, anything else for them? Oh, no, no, no. We're good to go That's now. It. We're good to go, man. Hey, look, let us know, man. Give us a thumbs up, man. If y'all got a little extra change in your pocket, you can do the cash app too, man. You know, that helps us uh, produce more and get more things out there. And um, so we can service the community with this knowledge and education and being open-minded in a lot of different issues. What's up? You got something. I know you got oh, something. Oh, no, well, the only thing oh. is, people, I want you to put things in the comments because we all work. And we mm-hmm. all don't have to deal with this issue, this one issue that we all done had a coworker we didn't get along with, maybe, mm-hmm. or a boss we didn't agree with, or mm-hmm. we have those customers uh, that they'll be off the chain. Yep. And you still got to try to give them that type of uh, courteous service to the breaking point. They can get on your last reserve nerve, but what are you going to do in that situation? Yeah, yep. definitely. That's and that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, baby. Whatever, Roger that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I count that last time. <laughs> baby. For sure. <laughs>you know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 